Shrew Wilson is 13 years old. She loves listening to One Direction, hanging out with her friends, and dancing. When she grows up, she wants to be a filmmaker. True Wilson may seem like an ordinary teenage girl, except for one thing. True was born Trey. I'm really cute, and I didn't know that I acted like that when I was little. And it's just kind of funny seeing videos of me when I'm like really little. It's just, it's just cute. <laughs> when we look back on videos of, of all three kids, from Jazzy to Jude to True, you can see what gender they really do identify with. And, and sometimes it's fluid, and sometimes it's just that is what it is. True has always identified as a girl. But with puberty knocking at her door, the stakes are high. Very nice. Like all 13-year-olds, True is at a point in her life when her body will start changing dramatically. But as opposed to most teenagers, the changes she will undergo will turn her into someone that she doesn't identify with. Well, at the age of 18, True's going to look like Garfield. How is she going to pass? How is she going to identify as a female if she's got these shoulders? Like, come on. They feel like their body is actually rebelling against them. Their body is not their friend. Their body is their enemy. And it is just, it is beyond emotionally tragic to watch. Mm -hmm. I get emotional just talking about it. In order to stop this process, True began taking hormone blockers when she was 10. This is a treatment used to pause the testosterone produced by her body. Normally, we, we, the ideal situation is give to them at the verge of the puberty so that we can put the puberty on hold. That means they have a couple of years to really consolidate because they become more mature in their thinking and um, they are more, give them more exposure to cons experience to consolidate the gender identity. And because of that, then we ha I help her to proceed to the next level. That will be the hormone therapy. Dr. Wong has approved Drew to begin the next stage of her journey. This stage is hormone replacement therapy, a non-reversible treatment that she will have to undergo for the rest of her life. Starting next month, Drew will have to take a pill every day. This pill will give her the levels of estrogen needed to continue with her process of feminization. To start hormone treatment, you need to be on for an extended period of time. Like you need to be fully transitioned socially. You need to be um, healthy mentally. You need to be having ongoing um, visits with your psychologist. True is very aware of the, the repercussions of being on estrogen and the fact that it's going to destroy any um, sperm count and that she won't be able to naturally have children in the future. I accompany True and her mom, Michelle, to Dr. Wong's Vancouver office, where True received the final approval to begin her treatment. Together, they went over some of the criteria needed to start taking the estrogen. Okay, I have been in informed that if I take too much estrogen, my body may convert back to testosterone, which may actually slow or stop feminization altogether. Okay, mm -hmm. you're gonna try to take extra, hoping that your boobs gonna grow faster? it might actually turn back into testosterone. Oh. I understand that because you want to catch up like, like your peers mm -hmm. do, you want yeah, to develop yeah. faster, but but it is a slow process, yeah. so. And one of my very good friends, Talia, mm -hmm. um, I'm kind of jealous of her because she's um, like halfway there. Mm -hmm. she's, well, she's developed quite quickly. For true, beginning this life-changing treatment is a logical next step in her process of becoming a woman. Back at her house, she told me that this is a moment she's been waiting for for months. I'm gonna grow and um, I'm gonna get breasts and wider hips and thighs and um, I've seen this coming for a long time and I've been waiting a while and um, I've been like preparing myself so I don't like freak out or anything, so that um, so that doesn't seem like I'm not ready. True will have to deal with more than just physical changes as she goes into high school. Because she's on estrogen, she will have to pay extra attention to consuming certain substances. 
I've thought about high school. I'm also kind of worried because um, I could get really big side effects if I do drugs or like alcohol or something like that. And so I'm scared that I might get influenced into doing that and um, I really don't want to. So. But True hopes that she will be strong enough to say no when the time comes. I said no to a lot of things. Um, I was strong enough to say no to my friend telling me that I need a boyfriend at this time in my life when I really don't. Yeah, the fear, one of the fears is just safety. I'm happy in the sense that we, we've very much been um, forthright in, 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 in the sense that if she's interested in someone that they know exactly who she is. Yeah, if I were to get to know somebody, I would, um, I would want them to know all of me and not just half of me. So, um, puberty is going to be, I have no idea <laughs> what puberty is going to be. <laughs> the only thing we, we, we're going we're gonna to continue to do is, is, is to have um, a very, very open dialogue with the kids and, 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 and be there for guidance and support. Since True's able to talk to other youth and talk about alternative ways to have sex, right? Like this is all things that as a parent you don't want to do. It's not enjoyable to think about Whoa. in general, but you just have to have those conversations and, and, and make it as scientific as possible because it really is just human nature. And as True gets older, the possibility of gender reassignment surgery will also come up. She definitely is in her cards right now. She wants to be able to do that when she's older. That's a long ways from now. She doesn't have to make any decisions about that. Um, trans adults decide to never have surgery. They're happy with the effect that their hormones have had on their body. So we're just leaving that open for now. I mean, it's something that can't happen until she's at least 18 at this point. So we've got mm. lots of time. Mm. True is not only a transgender girl going through puberty. She's also an outspoken advocate for trans rights and takes part in different awareness projects in Vancouver. Recently, she has collaborated with the Big Love Ball Art Project to promote love and acceptance and with the Vancouver Police Department to raise awareness on trans inclusion. You might be wondering why True and her family are doing this in such an open way. For the Wilsons, the answer is clear. They hope that True's journey will help other trans people see that they are not alone in this process and to never be ashamed of who they are. I don't want it to seem like I want to get famous. The only reason that me and my family are doing all these docu documentaries and um, TV interviews is because we want to um, help other people understand and accept, and accept trans youth and trans people. We want to get to the point where it's just something that you could pull up in a conversation and then just move on.